Hi everyone, Siege back here, and welcome back to Monster Chain, where we, again, continue learning on the Tethys and, I guess, in Kent Lines in general. So, the last run that I had was a Stygian run that uh, failed because... What was the reason this failed? I think I made a bad decision on ring 2 and I missed out on a founding seal. I'm not sure if really that was the cause of the mistake. I did trade away a guild marker for uh, the relic that provides 2 spell weakness upon reaching top floor. So I think it's a multitude of errors that compounded and ended up being enough to take out our winning streak although it was only at seven um, and we are on a learning series so it doesn't really matter but i'm still having problems i guess running incant lines and actually spell lines in general um not super comfortable in what upgrades to dump on lines so we need more practice and more practice we shall have with Tethys and Umbra again. So the last run uh, was a fail. However, okay, let me check back real quick. That was an Umbra line, right? Yep, that was an Umbra that I failed. So we are going to run another one again for today and hoping that we do get past this uh i'm actually wishing for an incant line to be handed down straight my face so that i could again test my metal and see how far we've gone through okay so it's going to be um, pushback no it's days talus curse arcus and diligent seraph and the good thing about this one is we have Two consumes in the form of space prisms that actually can function as a boss relic for our purposes and needs. I also have Sap as a divinity solution and Helical Crystallis as a frontline blast in the early game. So this Helical Crystallis usually falls off towards mid-game. So I need to learn about this card more and how it interacts towards my mid-game. So... You're starting off with Divine Boons so that we could do something with the shops. Uh, there is an Umbra Banner with a Steel Shop here on Ring 2 competing against a Magic Shop with a Stygian Banner. Now, that does push me towards the Magic Shop just because I can get a hold over on my Drain. And that becomes my late game solution for Divinity and keeping Tethys alive which is another thing. Um, dupe with Magic Shop, Ring 8, Vortex with Steel Shop. Ring 7, Steel Shop, not so good. Opposite a very good Magic Shop with Vortex and Horde. Okay. Uh, first or second dupe with Removal and Cave. Uh, one of the best combinations of um, locations. On Ring 6, opposite just a decent Magic Shop. Sorry, not so decent, just a Magic Shop really. Steel Shop with Horde on Ring 5, opposite a, ooh, a Trinket Shop with Money and Money in the Middle. Might be something we should visit. Third dupe is in Ring 4 with uh, the Vortex and some Health, opposite a Steel Shop with Stygian Banner and some Money. We might have to go here. Ring 3, Umbra with Horde, Magic Shop with Health, and as mentioned, Umbra Steel, Stage and Magic on Ring 2. How many temples today? We have 4 at 8, 6, 4, and 3 in that reverse order. Okay, so let's check Champion first because it's Tethys and it's Handheld Totem versus Chillwind. Um, if I don't connect on Helical Crystallis in the boss, it will be hard to get the kill. And Spell Weakness, although I'd like to play that with Helical Crystallis, Force Miss, Force Miss, Forces Me, 
to play, I guess, bottom or middle to capitalize on that. And that's not a certainty as well. So I think I'll go chill wind here. Check the horde. It is okay. An abandoned and tumbra start, which means this steel shop can be an ombre line that we could service. Do I want to go on ombre line? Maybe not. It's probably a Stygian line that we're running up to go with. Uh, double magic shop, which means we can get a lot of minus ones. And then jump into a steel shop here. Maybe see a shark. Depends on what we see. Probably not getting this first removal dupe on ring four. Lost luggage does allow us to search for our cards better. So... Space prisms, possibly hold over drain. So I'll take lost luggage here. Grab the money. And let's push on towards our first ring combat here. Spikes is concerning. But we do have the capability of clearing through these units with the cards that we have. So I think we can take this. Yep. There's your space prism. Avoid Ember Drain with that. Play. Um, I'll play one Train Steward and try to blast one of these units out. Okay, Collector is at middle. Fortunately, I can't get it. Did, we did get the trial though, so I think that's a fair trade. Put this one right there. Get this one killed. Another space prism. Play double. I mean, dub, double hit helical crystal is there. And we take some shade splitters. Can clear three of these. Can clear all of them. Get a shade splitter. Slap that in. Okay, can I, I can get rid of that weight of contrition. Get rid of all of the units in front of chains. And I think we clear this. No issues whatsoever. There you go. Okay, decent first ring combat. We did not get the collector, but we did grab the trial for some extra cash. And, hmm, what's the take here? I'm usually following the logic of if you have already a good frontline blast, don't take another one. And if it's going to be an incant line, I think I'll grab offering token here. It's a decent card. And a good ping is appreciated. Mind Collapse can do just that. Grabbing that one. And I think I am going on the right side here. Hold over. No. Remove consume. I could grab a plus 10 on this mind collapse, which I will. This minus 1 can probably go into drain. I'm gonna play that last. Spin this. Ooh, these, we do see a holdover. Definitely putting that on drain. I think I'm... Eating up all of my money here. Um, but I think that's fine. Because we did hit on good cards. But to consume on a frozen lance. And I'll drop a minus one on a helical crystallis here. Zero cash on this. Hmm. Double sweepers. Guess I should grab someone here. I think Cold Kelia is better than Icy Silophite because the spell weakness, we can't really capitalize on it if we're playing top 4. Uh, the Cold Kelia's Frostbite does help a little. Hmm, do I take the Horde for this? I might have to go to the Umbra banner here just because I want some scaling options. Let's grab uh, the cold Kalia for now. And try to feed it morsels. 
We are not that strong. This does not really provide power. This is defense. And the magic shop probably won't be able to buy too much there because we've spent all our cash. So maybe go to the Umbra banner there. Infusion? No, I don't think I'll take that word. I am not that powerful yet. Actually, don't have too much power yet. Let's skip that word. I think it's going to be the death of us if we go and take that. I want to see this unit trial though. Yes. We can face tank with train stewards and morsels. Hopefully. Let's play a space prism. We'll feed the cold Kalia for now. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. But I did draw on two train stewards. So that's a bit concerning. I need to chomp block here. Yes, I need to take hits here. Um, let's frozen lance this guy in front. We're still dead. Um, take one hit here. And another from the train steward. And I think I will play... Drain on this friend in bottom right there. Okay. Um, play Helical. Be glad I put the minus one in that card. Um, play Shade Splitter here. Okay. Um, I can blast one unit here. And would I want to take the... Oh, okay, I don't take the 5. So I can do this and sap and we don't take damage. I would like not to have the last night go up too soon. Because I want time to get some more scaling in. Let's mine collapse the back friend right there. And let's try to sap the last night down to zero. Okay. We helical, frozen, frozen, and then sap once more. Okay. That sap just went away. But I think we're fine. Um, play morsel. Do this, mind collapse, and drain, and we take the victory. Whew. Okay, good, good place here. Might have been a little harder if we went a little high on shards. Another ping in flash freeze. I already have one. I could consider Titan's Tooth here. To play with Drain and Offering Token. I have two discards that are somehow controllable. And that might become my AoE card. Takes, takes Ten and Piercing well. Although I could put that on Mind Collapse. Do I want this Titan's Tooth? Maybe. It clears wide floors. Which I currently have no way of doing aside from Cold Kalia. Yeah. So let's grab Titan's Tooth here. Moo, Perils. That's scaling. We need some form of scaling. Grab that. Ooh, and a Siren. We also have Overgorger, I don't think. If we went on the Antombra Relic, we, we could have gone Overgorger, but... Overgorger is not a very strong and stable unit. Okay, let me think about this for a quick second. Okay, sorry for the random pause. Can we scale with a Nameless Siren Infusion? In to Cold Kalia. Hmm. 
Is that enough? I don't think the infusion of Overgorger is something to consider. I could grab Titan Sentry here. Which could become a self-infuse in Ring 4. Hmm. Scaling 2 damage per turn. That could work. But that could only work if I have enough scaling. We're not getting buff cut here. But I I would need a lot of zero cost cards. If I am planning to run this deck here. So maybe something from Tethys Conduit helps out. If I don't grab the Nameless Siren, then I run into problems with scaling. Hmm. Pigeon Banner? I could see something here. Hmm. How about if I, I take Shark here? Opens up my run to Endless, which could help me here. Hmm. Is Shark better? Then I go Magic Shop, hope for a holdover. Hmm. Endless. What are the steel shots I'm planning to visit? Could visit this one. Could see founding seal here. There's a removal dupe here that I really want to make a lot of value out of. Hmm. Frostbite. Rage. My scaling right now is just perils. And that's not a very good scaling option. Although, if I combine Nameless Siren scaling with... But what's my defense? Play quick. Quick cold Kalia. Quick sweep. No HP. That's scary. That's concerning. Uh, grab Titan Sentry, I guess. I'll grab Titan Sentry here. Divine Artifact. Help me get through the next few combat. Next combat with this one. No money means the only way I buy a holdover in Merchant of Magic is if I hit a low cost holdover on my perils. Don't really need the HP because I did not take damage. Minus ones would be valuable, but could I could only buy one. So maybe the best play here is to go here on the left side. Temple says a minus two. No. Infusion is also dead to us. We're at 10 shards here. Ooh. <laughs> Fossilized fangs, overgorger, and an tumbra relic. This could have been maybe a good overgorger run. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll take Fossilized Fangs. Just so maybe this next unit. Hmm. Hmm. That's... Ah, I don't think that's the case here. 
That's a good infusion, a defensive infusion to co keep Cold Kaylee alive for a couple of turns. Maybe I should grab that. Yes. A decent infusion into my Cold Kale, yeah? Could consider doing that actually. Hmm. Yes. Gives her 25 HP and some lifesteal for 5 turns. Sure. Do I do the infusion now? Hmm. That guy stays alive for a long while. Because of the fossilized fangs here. Hmm. Check the caves. Hmm. This helps into patient as well as in cans. Um, because there's zero cost eventually. Um, the vengeful shards do give me extra ember, but if I'm planning to go the perils of reduction, they're not gonna be helpful. So let's take the rubble here. I think. Yes. Oh, whew. this run's not very, very. It's not going to into a very good direction right now, and I'm scared. <laughs> you have to make some weird decisions again to secure this win. Morsel. Color Crucible. Tethys. Perils. Um, Helical. Frozen, Frozen, Mind Collapse, Drain. I'll probably be draining Talos here every single time. Just feed this guy a lot of morsels. Shark into Cold Kalia middle seems like a very good idea. And sap Talos again. I think we get out of this just because of that turn 1 draw. Um, playing a train steward here in the back ensures victory. Keep draining Talos. We're not gonna play those calcified embers. Let's draw past that one. Um, blast this guy out. Daze Talos even more. That's a lot of enemies. Ooh, okay. It's a good Titan's Tooth play. Um, face Prism into another Train Steward in the back. Lay out the Frozen Lands and then drain the boss, which clears everything. Good. We play... I mean, it's just... Helical. Gain the boss again. Um, we win in middle. Awesome. There you go. Shroud Spike. That could be scaling that we are looking for. I probably should grab that right now. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> this run is weird. Oh dear. It's sap. Probably sap and frostbite here. I think I have to take that lodestone totem. 
into cold Kalia. Uh, I mean, it works well with Titan Sentry, so I need to invest on Titan Sentry here. He's probably gonna be my dupe here. If I don't see the shark here, he's gonna be my dupe here. And then I visit the steel shop for an endless if I don't see it here. That lodestone totem then goes into cold Kalia, which I can maybe spike with shroud spike. I have the morsels, I have the ember with calcified ember as well yeah let's take lodestone totem here this is one weird run um probably draw i have space in space prism if i draw sentry together with lodestone I can't play both of them. Yeah, and I don't think that's a very good um, thing to happen to us. I think I have to go Ember here. We go right here, hoping for Endless. Ooh, there's a multi-strike here. That's good. Um, Temple says Spell Chain. Spell chain on a future perils. And an infusion. Champion is. Oh, we do see conduit, which allows us to incant here. Definitely the take, I believe. Now we need to solve how that unit survives we skip these no shark here um the multi-strike does go into cold gale yeah hmm yeah she's gonna apply extra frostbite together with titan sentry and since i'm running a sap build i think the extra damage shield is gonna be helpful his her defense is gonna come from lodestone totem infusion let's do the infusion yes do i want to grab this spell chain prematurely on perils i think yes and damage shield i think i grab this i spin for a plus Yeah, I'll spin this. Ooh, there was an endless there. But I'll grab the plus 25 here and the removal on... Oh, I can't grab the removal anymore. I think we powered up decently well into that combat or that shop. We can take this. We did take damage shield, so we can take this. Ooh. Okay, uh, we have a very good turn one play into offering token. Okay, damage shield into shark middle. Secure collector for us. We play Ethis here in the back. I play into offering tokens, kill everyone. And then I can play a helical bottom and kill one guy there. 
Then we eat the morsel to avoid the ember drain. Okay, we secure collector, middle, that's good. I can play my cold Kalia here. Need to get a lot of zero cost cards in this deck, so magic shops are gonna be helpful. Um need free shade splitters. So I don't think I play the perils yet. Okay, we do play into shade splitters here. We wanna grab um more cells. Okay, chain steward goes bottom and dies. This is sap and frostbite. They're gonna go hand in hand. Um, play out this card, this card. Play out a train steward bottom. Pop someone. Pop this guy, I guess. Yep. Drain this guy here. Take one damage shield out because of the explosion. I play Shade Splitter here. I'll probably s do I spike this Shade Splitter. I need a lot of magic shops here. Um, play this here. It's not really gonna. Oh, well, it's gonna. I think I like that. Play the train steward in front. And drain. No, I want that train steward to die, so I'll drain middle. Okay, we took some damage there, but. Nothing we can really do about it. I need more cells in. Blast here. Sap. Okay, took another three, but that's just how things are gonna roll around here. I drain the boss. Probably should put the collector up top here. Drain the boss. Drop this card here. Incant up. There you go. We get through this with the help of the Crucible Collector tanking for us and Fossilized Fangs providing double eats there. Preserve is gonna be important here. Although Glacial Seal is here, but I don't think that's the play. Let's preserve. I need to preserve things like I mean, this perils, this shroud spike, like preserve is a zero cost incant. Void binding is a good perspective. Take it's a very big deck. It's thirty five cards. Okay, we got the payout on the embers. Good, good, good. Now, hmm, there is a horde here, and hitting on. Endless is a very good play. What's more important here? I think the extra HP is critical as well. Yeah, I think we need to go here. Quick damage shield, not good. Spin this. No endless insight. That's concerning. Ford says Cheater's Hand is something I like to take to save Tethys here. Yes. Was this worth it? Probably. Should I cut the Yes, I think I should cut him now. And cut a train steward? Yes, I'll cut two cards there. And 
I don't need the money. I'm going to the dupes uh, for the shark. And then... Oh dear. I need to visit magic shops. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Heaven seal is a definite no-no. We can't handle that right now. Give me a quick moment. Hmm. Okay. So this shroud spike needs to be held. You need to have a big shroud spike play somewhere. Play shark middle again to secure the collector for us. No morsels here. Let's sap the. Let's excavate a ember here. Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh dear. Bad place, bad place. Last one here. Collector in middle. I should hold out into a train steward. Okay, that's a mistake. Hmm. This run is hard. Or again, it might be hard because I'm making it hard. Shark middle, that is here. Pop one guy. Pop. No, I need to leave one in. Sap this guy. Okay. Cold Kalia is here. I'd like to hold on to Shroud Spike. Play Cold Kalia. Um. Encant her. Because she barely has any damage. Okay. Hold on to Shroud Spike. Yes. Play this. this okay give me a moment guys okay so sorry about that quick pause there where were we okay this very weird run is where we were uh hmm concerning okay Oh, okay. We managed to connect the Shroud Spike Perils and Shade Splitter turn here. So let's try to see. Oh, it's it's not a very good rel uh, morsel. Is it enough? Do we spike on this? Ah. Uh, I don't think that's good enough, though. Okay, we're getting through the damage here. Shade splitter in. Um, pain steward bottom. We drain this guy even more Oof. I'll hold on to this card here I need to sap this boss down ah oh, we're taking so much damage I'll hold on to you and then freeze you. Get a morsel. 
um mind collapse drain you okay i lost that thing there uh this is concerning oh dear <laughs> this is amazing we get through it by the power of sap and frostbite thanks Tethys. <sighs> hmm. hmm, these are not the cards. Um, sacrifice gives me morsels. Shroud mitosis, maybe. Would I want that? Take sacrifice here. I want morsels. I need shark. I need a self-infused shark here. Yes. Plus 30. Infusion. Okay, let's dupe the shark. Because you want his frostbite in play. Need more. I was considering duping the siren as well. Because that's lodestone. I could do this in this magic shop here. I still visit one more magic shop. I'll probably visit this steel shop again. Let's cut the rest of the train stewards because they're not helpful in this run. Caverns are 25 coins. Nope. Too little. Oh, plus 30. Not sure if that's important. Let's move on. Ah. <sighs> We're just hoping for that magic shop to be of value to us. Let's hold on to the perils. Um, shade splitter in. I think I no, I can. I can do this by playing. Uh, mine collapse to get back some extra ember and feed more at top floor in can titan sentry lands middle i think collector i uh, know there's no collector here okay that that was a mistake um hold on to shroud spike do this Get this guy killed somehow. Play out Titan's Tooth and chill. Okay. Okay, okay. Think I can do it here. Okay, let's see what we connect into. It's a rubble morsel. I can split it. I need damage. Excavated. Lay out the other ones. Okay, don't think that was a very good shroud spike. But that is a lot of survivability. Um, hold on to this card, expand top floor, okay, none more cells, I can play if it is a more cell. 
No. Um. Discard this. Okay. We're saving fire HP by not getting hit. Um take out the curse. I think I need to start sapping the boss. Yeah, I need to sap him down. This frostbite needs to go into the boss. Tap into the boss. More sap into the boss is required. Tap the boss again. Down to 10 HP. Um, I need these things here. This enough to win? Nope. Not enough to win. Do that again. Whew. Weird run. I need a very good shroud spike, I think. Something to tide me over by quite a lot. Put you bottom. Hold on to Shroud Spike. Either a damage shield. Hmm. Not you. Yeah, maybe the damage shield more so is the play here. Maybe I do this and try to connect a better Shroud Spike. Hmm. I think if I invest a little more I think I'm gonna lose this again. That's problematic. Need to stop here. 
Yep. Okay. Uh hold on to this guy. Lay out these morsels, sap the boss. Okay. Wait. Do I sap this here? Hmm. I hold on the drain. No, I need a big. Don't play anything. Oh dear. Ugh. Hard. This is hard. Need to play sharp middle, I guess. Hmm. Double morsels. Maybe I leave a purge copy in. Shark goes bottom. Oof. Okay. This is a turn that I can apply Frostbite in. So we will. Um. Hold on to Excavated Ember. It's not the morsel I'm looking for. Okay, that's some damage in. Hold on to this card. Confirm. Hmm. Um, do this in camp here. Okay. Hold on to this card. More morsels means more damage shield. How much shaft does the boss have? Okay, let's encant here. Oof, uh, scaling is a problem. Take three, take four, it's 
seven. Okay, this card's dead. Ooh, we got through it. We did have sap and frostbite. Ah, that's hard. Ooh. Wretch. Shroud mitosis. Uh, no. These don't help. Don't need space. I need draw. See more cards in one hand. Oh. I think I have to go to the magic shop and give up the frostbite on shark. Yes. Because I want more chances. I think I have to take this remove consume on shroud spike. I need to be able to spike multiple times. Minus one on a shade splitter is important. Spin this. Give me a holdover. No. Uh, permafrost on perils. I don't want to close that slot up. What do I have? Okay. Let's check here. Winged indulgence should help. Cutting last train steward out. And... What's the cut here? I mean, offering token is... Interacting negatively with Cheater's Hands. I think I'll cut that card out as well. Forge says, I think I need the extra frostbite from Chillwind. This one is Boon of the Black Sweet for more power on the fire 20 consume here another minus one want those on shades no i want that on void binding because if i start playing out my deck my zero cost deck i need to be able to play these cards in yes and i don't get that permafrost Spikes 5 is dangerous for us. Yes, it's dangerous. He cannot take it. Uh, hold on to this card. The fist takes that. Titan sentry goes middle get rid of this card blast this card here okay hold on hold on to this one I'm gonna hold on to that. Hold on. I see. No, I just spike whatever more shall I find. So I do this. There's my Shroud Spike. I should hold on to Drain. Because I can push it out with Excavated. That's the Morsel I get. I want to see if I can get a better Morsel. Um, I mean, Damage Shield would be good. 
Okay, uh, that's what we're given. That's what we're gonna spike. Okay, that's a lot of damage shield there. Pop out another guy. Drain this. I should have encanted that card instead. Okay. I can... Okay, let's hold on to Shroud Spike here. Because you have no good targets. Let's just encant this floor then. Whew. Um, oh, I can do this here. I can have a good spike. Let's void binding, do this, spike that more so. Spike here, sap here. Okay, we are making this work. I wanna hold this one over. Let's sap things down to nothing. Um, I guess I wanna spike this guy. I'm gonna take some hits from this steel wings. Hopefully not too much. Hold on, no, hold on to this card here. You wanna play the Titan's Tooth here? Freeze a morsel. Okay. Was not able to freeze a morsel. Okay, can we get through this? <laughs> For some weird reason, we are. Um, hold this one. I'll get it back. Let's perils, shade splitter, shade splitter. Get our morsels out. Blast this. Oh dear. We are making this work. Ah. <sighs> hmm. No. Skip. Kindle would be nice. It could set up a very big, big spike there. Let's go right. Let's not think about that. The extra HP is warranted. A double stack. Ugh. Wanna take that so badly. Think at shop, what do you have for me? Titan's Claws, eh? Hmm. Temple, what do you have? Another spell chain. How much ember do I have? Turn one. Hmm. Spell chain void binding. That's a lot of damage. And I have zero cost cards. I have X cost cards. It can run into a zero cost deck here. Intrinsic would be good. I could save Tethys with Cheater's Hand if I really wanted to. Hmm. Any intrinsic place here that I want? How about intrinsic on... No, I can't do that. It has, doesn't have a slot. Um... I think it's the spell chain. 
Spell chain. Shroud spike. Spell chain void binding. It's a lot of free damage shield. My hand is technically zero cause I have to drop probably the shade splitters uh, minus ones because there's no other good minus one target aside from cannibalize. Yeah, I can make this work. Double stack is not the play. I will take a tenon piercing on mine collapse. The first minus one. Does that need that? Hmm. Ooh, how am I gonna play this one out? I need zero cost shade splitters. I don't think I need this one. I spin. Remove consume. Hmm. Another remove consume. Kindle? This does not work if I don't have more cells to play. <laughs> Remove consume on a kid, I think. The spell, ch the dupe here is. Is it Siren? No. I think it's perils. And I move on from here. This is gonna be weird. But Chase or Diligent might help me out here just because he's gonna cut cards that I don't want in the deck. Um I need to hold on to Shark. Yes. Play space prism shade splitter. Lodestone Tethys. Play out a shade splitter, but not play it out. Okay, can I spike here? No good spikes. Um do I start scaling with... I hold on to... Kindle. Play this. I think I'm gonna zero cost this out. I need to play Shark for him to take out the enemies here. Okay. Be cautious of what we discard here. Play space prism. Shade splitter. Kindle. Shroud spike. Discard. Okay, we're getting through with Frostbite here. I can play out my Mind Collapse here, which I will. First. Uh, yep, take that one out. Play this here. I think I'll Void Binding myself. And then sap the boss again. 
He might just get through this. Big hit. Big reminder on that might. Um, no more shark. So, I do this. I will sap the boss. I need to sap the boss as much as I can. I play out this one and consume. Okay. Hold on to this thing. Drain the boss. Okay, here is the shroud spike. I should hold on to it. Helical. Discard. Play. I need to sap this guy because he's doing a lot of damage to me. Okay, here is the turn of... Well, it's not a very good turn. Hopefully, I draw into Void Binding. No, I don't. Oh. Do you see that big red X? Because I do see it too. We got through it. Frostbite and Sap working so much closely together here. Ah. Oh, it's, it's getting through. Not sure how this is gonna work out in this combat, but we'll see. Okay, do I have a way to protect Tethys right now? Hmm. No. Yep, no way to save Tethys, so we don't play Tethys. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, I can. What am I talking about? I have Sap. Ah, I need to hold on to what card then? Think Excavated Ember. So, play, play. Play, 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 play this one. Let's get some damage in. I want to sap the boss as much as possible here. That this stays alive. Shade Splitter goes in. I want the damage, I think. Okay, we're gonna incant here. I'm gonna take 10 damage from this extinguished trigger. No. Hmm. Play sap here. Please discard. Okay. 
play life steal Okay, what kills me? Oh, the spikes kill me. Okay, we need to handle the spikes person. That's what this is telling me. Uh, what do I hold on to here? Let's hold on to a morsel then. Or big ember. No, morsel is the base. We need to ho have a morsel here. Don't play excavated ember here. Pop that guy so we don't take a hit from him. Hmm. Okay, what's the hold here? Another morsel? Yes. I want to always have a morsel. Hold on to Shroud Spike here, I believe. to preserve play this um play void bind Did not pan out well as I planned. Spikes are killing me here. I need to hold on to shark, I guess. I need shark to be played. Yeah, so for me to be able to do that, I have to hold on to an ember for next turn. This one. Okay. Pop that guy. Okay, shark needs to get played here. Hold on to this one. No, that's wrong. Oh well. I think shark needs to be played bottom. There you go. Ah, uh, shark does not kill the bottom guy. Okay.
I need to hold on to this. Right? No, hold on to this one instead. Um. Tap. There you go. More frostbite. Um, I can play double perils here and void binding in. Um, drop this guy out. Pop you. Play this. Play this. Stop this guy. Oof, we're getting through this. There is a way. There is a way. Okay, big shroud spike incoming. Hmm. Let's hold on to this card here. Play morsel. Another morsel. Give ah oh, dear. These morsels are bad. Ah. Okay, frostbite dealt with that guy. I can clear out almost everything here. Um need to be able to sap a lot though. Okay, do this, do this, 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 um, sub a little more. Okay, we get through that. Oh my god. Oh. That next floor is scary as hell. Ah, can I survive this wave of enemies? Oh dear. Ah. I think there's a way out of this. <sighs> okay. Hold on to this guy. Yes, this is a sap I can't. I want a big spike though. I just don't play that card then. Oh, no. Every sap is important. Let's hold on to this card. Play out you, you, and then let's do the incant. Not play that one card. Pop this guy. Um, hold on to this one. Because I want the scaling on this card. Shark goes bottom. I 
I can have a good spike here. A decent spike, I mean. I think I'd rather take this extra one. Do the incant. Okay. I need Ember, but I don't have it this turn. So hold on to this card. Yes. Play out Shade Splitter here. Do this, do this, do this as well, and what am I draining here? What am I drawing into? I can get that guy in, so sapping that friend right there. Okay. I will hold on to you because I can get you back. Let's play this. Play this one out. Um, I want the void binding place. I want the shade splitter in to tank hits if possible. And this is not enough damage to kill me here. Sap the boss. Okay. This floor is scary. Hmm. Next turn might be a big shroud spike play for seven. But I am seeing, yeah, there are two Ember sources there, so I think I just play everything out here. Sap the boss. Ooh, that's weird. I did not get through that guy there last time. No ember here. I do. I do have ember here. Need to pop a 20 unit. Ah. Get through that. Oh dear. Well, that played out a little differently. Hold on to the excavated ember here. Need to incant here as much as possible. Oof. Hold on to one. But I not play Titan Sentry. Wait, how if I play Titan Sentry in front of Siren? Yeah, that's a possibility. Let's try that. Um, hold on to this. 
Play Siren, Tethys, Pump, 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 get this. More cell drops in, do this, Space Prism, get rid of that guy. Um, I'll get this back anyways. Excavated Ember, Titan Sentry, get a Shade Splitter, get it in, split it out, get the Entombra Morsel, Space Prism, get another one in. Okay, this is a lot better, I think. Shark is a gonna be able to soak up the hits that otherwise would be going into Cold Kelia here. Okay, and generates extra sap. Hold on to void binding here. I'll play out this card, this card, freeze this. Okay. Um, I want to have Ember here. Give Cold Kalia some damage that she needs. I want that guy to hit me. Okay, I lost a lot there. Because I did not encant as much. Okay, that played out differently than I imagined. <sighs> Maybe if I've gotten two cold Kalias. More sap. Okay, let's not burn the excavated embers if you don't need to don't want to take that damage hmm lay this one out Wrong. Yeah, that was way instead. Get this thing skilled. I don't want to draw them. Oof. Okay, we have Ember here. Okay. No ember this turn. Hold on to this because I can't play it. Um. There you go. 31. Any ember here? Yes, I have.
Okay, that's a lot better. I have Ember this turn. Okay, I'll give this up. This is too mistakenly set up that we can secure the victory. Another loss with Stygian. This clan combo is this clan combo is hard. So hmm. Maybe I should have taken two cold Kalias and kill enough sap there that we don't take any fire damage. Maybe that's the mistake here. Not sure. We have a lot of zero cost amber generation, the form of perils of production, mine collapse. But maybe taking this extra spell chain here was bad. Yeah, probably. Um, I think I did cut a lot enough cards here to work things out. Not sure. I'd have to replay this run in order to get a better sense of how this should have been played out so yeah leave a like or a dislike if you enjoyed this video and as always guys remember see you today thank you very much for watching